coming up on Little Women LA. Oh, take cover, Tara swinging. You just had a lap dance by some kind of random girl. I don't know if I can get pregnant. Is that normal? How long did you know she was pregnant beforehand? She told me even before she told Joe. The best I can tell you from everything I've read is I don't think they survived. Over, and that is exactly the kind of silly girl fun time that I need. Because all this baby talk lately is reminding me that I'm not in a relationship, and I really want to be. How are you? You know, you're happy, and all my friends are got someone and happy, and you know, I I want to find love. I really do. I mean, so what are you looking for? Like seriously, what are you looking for in a man? I don't. I won't date little people anymore. <sighs> nope. Is it no. sexual? Because you can tell me. Trust me. It's having sex with an average sized person is way different than a little person. Okay, the difference between having sex with a little person, it's just where our legs go. An average sized one would probably be able to wrap their legs around a person, where my legs are up in the air, like this. <laughs> and if you ride him, it's the same. You just ride like a pony. Oh, hi. How you doing? Hi, sweaty pants. Hey. Mm. What are you guys doing? It's like girl time? Yep. I figured you're talking about the big pink elephant in the universe. Someone's pregnant me? That's what I mean. I'm pregnant. Are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I, it was weird. It seems like Elena wasn't like that surprised. She tried to talk to her. Just let her bring it up. Just let her bring it up, yeah. Wouldn't you tell your best friend before yeah. you told or everybody your close else? Friend, I don't know if they're best friends, but I think they're close friends. Well, right? maid of honor is pretty damn close. Yeah, I don't even know if Tara's excited about it. Was it planned? I think it was planned. I thought her and Joe were like on the rocks, so yeah. you don't fix a relationship by adding a baby to it. No, you don't. But some people don't get that. People don't get that. People think, oh, let's have a baby and everything will be okay. They just don't seem like they're ready for this. Tara's big thing is her career. You're not your own person when you have a kid. You become that child's mom. Mom, that's it. I went through a bad divorce, and I have a daughter, and now we just share custody. It just, it's difficult on a child. So I just hope that the only reason Tara and Joe are having a baby is because they really want one, not for the sake of desperation or trying to fix anything, because it won't. I just would hate that it made their relationship worse and, and pull them apart completely for good, and then it'd be like on the child. Then you know who suffers. Hey, mama. Hey, girl. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. You look good. I'm so glad you came. You look great. You do too. Ooh, lemonade looks good. Tara and I have a lot to talk about. I just broke up with Trevor, and she just told everybody she is with child. Who would have thought? When do we start planning the baby shower? I mean, I know it's early now, but. Let's hold off. Okay, let's hold Let me off. Get my first appointment first. <laughs> All right. I want to get out of like the woods of right. the dark period. I got you. I At least got into you. the second trimester, and then right. I'll feel more comfortable. This week is my first OB appointment. It's especially something that I'm nervous about, not only being pregnant, but being a little person pregnant. I've heard of women gaining 40 to 50 pounds. I mean, that is half of me. I know that Joe and I carry different types of dwarfism, so is that going to affect it? I'm quite curious what is to be expected um, throughout this pregnancy. But how are you feeling? I'm like a little bit freaked out in a weird way. More nervous about what to expect when yeah. expecting. <laughs> and my my boobs have changed. Oh, like I'm, I have permanent nipples, which is kind of nuts. When, when, what is permanent nipples? That what they come and like, go? I no longer have like an areola until I'm aroused. 
I'm sorry, but this is weird for me, okay? <laughs> How have you been since breaking up with Trevor? It's mixed emotions. Mm -hmm. Brianna told me that Trevor tried to hit on her. And when I approached him with it, he went eight crazy. Brianna told me you called her telling her you and her could date. She's a liar. No, listen to what I'm saying now. Because this no, no, that. I'm through you talking to you. You're a liar, and you're getting caught up in a lie, and that's why you're running away. It's over. Trevor turned out to be a lying sack of I'm disappointed, but I refuse to be hurt. Ain't no man gonna hurt me. OK, it's like this. I promised myself that I would never let nobody on earth who's alive to affect me like my mom's death did. Ain't nobody gonna be alive and making me hurt or cry or feel bad about the relationship not working. That's not gonna happen. Maybe you will have that kind of love one day. You just haven't found it yet. The last thing Tanya should do is put up a wall because Trevor was just one bad apple and there's I'm sure a plethora of trees out there waiting for her to pick from. Tall, small, whatever. She deserves the best. Thank Anything. you. I mean that. Thank I love you. you. I love you too. Well, hello. What's up? So what's happening? Uh, I used to be very close to Christy, but lately she turned her back on me. Now, out of blue, she's calling me for lunch and it's a little bit weird and it might be a little bit awkward. So why did you want me to come here? Because I really missed you. I've been isolating. I know you've been hanging out with Tara and I miss you and I was like, whatever, maybe she's just liking Tara now and I was like, You're a jealous ass, huh? I'm a jealous ass. I just felt that you are not interested in our friendship anymore. That, that is you, not it. After the wedding, you and Brian completely separated from the entire world. You're like, okay, after with the, her everywhere. After the wedding, I was dealing with a lot of crap. Not with Brianna, with myself. I had two surgeries on my ear. A lot of little people, our bone structures are shaped different in our head. And lately, I've been getting chronic ear infections, which cause a lot of pain. And I kind of drew back from the girls and was very antisocial. Like, I had no idea. Then you call this friendship. I just don't want to say, oh my god, I'm in the, I'm in the doctor's office again. Feel bad for but me. But that's what friends what do. I will be always there for you if you call me and tell me that you need my help. I'm sorry. I'm telling you that I'm sorry. Stop saying sorry. I I forgive you, girl. Stop. It's nothing Let's to forgive you for. Okay. You know I love you. Even if she can be really crazy, I'll give Christy a second chance because I really want to be better friends with her. Um, what? What's happening? You're scaring me. Okay. I was so shocked about the cupcakes. Ah. Oh. oh, baby. What? You? Me? No. no honey. No. Okay, I saw you. You thought you totally thought I'm the pregnant one, huh? How long did you know beforehand? No way. Wait, what? What are you saying? How long did you know she was pregnant beforehand? Why do you think I knew? I'm a great observer. You knew? Maybe. It just happened this way. For a while. I knew for a while. She told me even before she told Joe. She just needed to get this off her chest because she just found out and she did not know what to do with this information. I knew it. Tara told Elena about her pregnancy first. Tracy and Tanya will probably freak out if they knew about this. My God, holy Don't tell nobody that I knew about her pregnancy ahead of time. Promise. I understand. When it's on your heart. But now everybody know and everybody happy. It's exciting. Yeah. Babies are fun. Babies are fun. They are. And down and try hey, this ladies. at Longsville. Hello. 
my friend Erin invited me to perform with her burlesque troupe in the hottest club in downtown in two days. It's not that kind of show that I normally do, but the pay is good and it might be really good for my career and my confidence. You look gorgeous. Thank you. You came all burlesquified. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Dancing makes me feel very uncomfortable. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What don't you feel comfortable with? Like 90% of it. But I want to step out of my comfort zone and do this burlesque show. If my friend still can dance and she is nine months pregnant, how hard can it be? Ready? It's not traumatizing. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. All right, so you're going to hit. You're going to just push your booty out to the right. And then you're going to contract. Ha. And then you're going to stick your butt out. My bad already is out, like, all the time. OK, negative Nancy. Now you're pushing it. Ready, go. Right, left, right, in, oh. out, five. Do it again. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Let's do it again. OK. So you just need to do it with more confidence. It's not scary right. kitty. It's like, mm, like, sexy. And heel, heel, heel. Booty, round. A little shaky, shake, shake. Growing up as a little person, it was hard. I always got a lot of attention. And I decided, why don't I get the best of it? So I dyed my hair bleach blonde, started wearing a lot of makeup, and I became a performer. I know that I look good, but I don't move that good. So I'm finding it harder and harder to get into dancing. The hardest part is not the movement for you. The hardest part is getting over it. This is hard even just walking out and making it look good. Even just walking. No kidding. When you're a little person, it's hard. Yeah. Nine months pregnant, I'm feeling your, I feel it. Following choreography is really hard for me because I'm already self-conscious about the way I dance. And when I start thinking how I look, it makes me forget the moves. And five, six, you have more time, so walk if you don't know what you're doing. Chest, boobies. Five, six. Wait, what's happening? I'm sorry. Doing. I'm sick of like having piles of pictures and not having anything up in frames. So it's was it's project time? You're just looking at pictures, you're actually gonna put some together. I am going to put them in frames. Todd and I moved in together and we got married pretty fast. Now that we're trying to have a baby, I want to get our old family pictures in frames. So when our new babies come, we can start our new family collection of photos. The full frontal nudity one. My mom used to wash no, me in the sink. No, your weenie's cut off yeah. there. She used to wash me in the sink. I was washed in the sink. I was so tiny. Is that autumn? Yes. I was a young mommy. I had both my kids before I was 23. I was a young mom. I was practically a baby myself. I'm going to look old having a baby. Uh, I looked you're not great gonna look and old. young. I'm like, old. You still look great. You're just not as young. And my biological clock is ticking. Yours is ticking. How do you think mine feels? We're trying. There's all these wise tales. Do they really work? Lots of yogurt. OK. I mean, is there anything else we can do? We have six different positions. Do you mean we're even going to try more positions? It's nice little man. It's a super moon. Never mind. Just Like werewolf babies? No, no, honey. It's just it's pure science. What the hell, Todd? Trying to make you a dad here. Why are you being such a butthead? Maybe your balls are, like, too constricted. That kills sperm? That kills sperm. Cinnamon. Cinnamon's supposed to help with production of both sperm and egg. So, cinnamony grapefruit yogurt <laughs> under the full moon, and we're guaranteed to be pregnant. Yeah. Well, at least it's fun trying. It is fun trying. Let's go. Mwah. Wait, not with the cat in the room. Sorry, buddy. Go on, close the door, quick. <laughs> I'm 48 inches, but I don't know if I can come to that line. I'm tall enough for everything except for little Indy. If none of us are tall enough to drive, does that mean we have to, like, ask some tall person to drive the car if we want to go on? Or do you have pedal extension? 
we don't have pedal extensions, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, Push random stranger. I want you to run into that other person. How about that? Amusement park rides usually have a height requirement. The height requirement doesn't do well for short children, doesn't do well for little people, and height requirement or no height requirement, amusement rides are not good for pregnant people. So we are sticking to mini golf on this double date. Everybody got their balls? Got yeah, a I ball. Got, I got balls. So oh, <laughs> jeez. I know, take cover, right? <laughs> Everybody, heads up. Four. Oh. Holy Are you trying to get it in the hole? I, I, I got, got it in the hole. In the hole. <laughs> so you are. Oh, that hole. That hole. And to answer Have your you question, yes, we're trying. And you're Tired. still negative? I don't know why Tara keeps asking me if I'm pregnant. If I were pregnant, she would be the first to know. Well, don't bum the girl out. She's trying to have fun. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to bum anybody out. She's thinking Let's about it too the next much. Round. I feel bad for Tracy because I know she really wants a child, but put your big girl pants on and be there for your best friend. Are you trying to get it in the hole? I, I got it in the hole last night. <laughs> so you are? Oh, that hole. That hole. And to answer Have your you question, tired? yes, we're trying. And I'm you're tired. still negative? Well, don't bum the girl out. She's trying to have fun. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to bum anybody out. She's thinking Let's about play it too the much. Next round. You all right? Okay. Just hit your ball. What? Just hit your ball. All right. You're good? I'm good? How about, can we have some girl time for a second? Totally. Yeah. Over here. We'll get a beer. Over here. Sucks that I got pregnant before Tracy, but I need her to be there for me as a friend instead of the woe is me story brought to you by Tracy. What's going on, girl? I'm really excited for you, and I just really wish I was pregnant, too. And I just, I don't know if I can get pregnant. Little people can get pregnant just as easily as average height people. It's just something that I'm having a lot of trouble with. I feel like my age has a lot to do with me not getting pregnant. We've been doing everything that they say. I'm taking my temperature and using ovulation tests, and I wish it was that easy. I don't want to, you know, rain on your parade because it's such an exciting thing, and I'm so happy for you. It's gonna happen for you one way or the other. I feel bad because I want to tell you everything. I'm on this journey, and I want to share everything with you, and I want to be able to I tell you. I want you to share it with me. Think good thoughts, because it's gonna happen to you. You're gonna be a mother. Thanks. I love you. Let the guys go. They're probably drinking. There's a bar here. Baby shopping. Woohoo! Hi. Hi. So many cool things. <laughs> Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Thanks. We're having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Imagine putting this. I can barely even get it off the ground. Shopping for a baby is super overwhelming. Car seats baby strollers, cribs, and even trying to look for things that fit little people. That's, to me, it's like, get on your knees and then go baby shopping and see how successful you are. This would be great for breastfeeding. Now you're ready to go mountain climbing. What about these strollers? This looks way too high for you. Mommy doesn't know what she's doing, huh? You, you help me. Nothing's happening. Wow, boom. This is like the perfect height for me, right at booby level. We'll take three of these. What else do we need? Rib. We need a they have lots fat of crib. This one's gorgeous. A little deep for us, though. Be like, land safely. Use the ladder. Use the ladder. <clears throat> Let me try and get you. Or that. Yeah. Don't don't break the place. It would only be if like the child could come and walk up to me. <laughs> That's why we're gonna have a normal sized kid, average height. So you want, you would prefer an average size child over everything? Yes, for the only reason that it it most likely would avoid surgeries. That's it, mm -hmm. average size child. Our child has a 25% chance of being an average stature child. I know lots of little people that have average size children. Our baby could have severe 
skeletal issues. I had a surgery at five. My hips were out of their sockets. You've been lucky with no surgery. I do feel fortunate. I've only had ear surgery. A lot of the other women haven't been as lucky as myself when it comes to skeletal issues. Um, Tanya's had multiple surgeries. I know Tracy's had multiple surgeries. Christy, being little is sometimes a pain in the neck, literally. Let me just say this. If our kid has a million surgeries and a mil million health problems and a million other things, I will still love that kid no matter what, the same. I just want a healthy baby. How are you? Good. Your belly is growing. AKA, you're fat. I'm really nervous about my burlesque performance, so I called Tara to come over and help me with some moves. Why do you think that you're so nervous about this performance? Basically, like, I don't understand what moves to do at what part of the song. It's just hip rolls, shaking your tukas. The suck at dancing. No, you don't suck at dancing. You just need one-on-one -on -one attention. That's, That's what I'm here for. Let's knock this out. I never meant to tell Elena first about my pregnancy. It's definitely brought us closer together. I'm pregnant. And Joe doesn't know. <laughs> we used to be rival performers, but now that I've become so much closer to her, it is cray cray how insecure she is about performing on stage. Okay. Yes, that looks cute. It makes you look like you have super hips. That's good. Well, anyway, I'm going to show you. The earrings look good with the tail. Yes. Show me what you've rehearsed. Let me just see what you have. You look like you're going to cry. Don't cry. It's going to be OK. I agreed to do this job so I can prove it to myself that you know I can do some kind of choreography and stuff. But I'm so regretting it right now. If I miss something. That's it. That's, that's when okay. you do your own You do your sexy, I'm going to touch myself, and then I'm going to crawl. I appreciate Tara's advice, but she's the one who is much more comfortable with doing something like this, not me. I want you to slap it. Make it go around. So walk one, two, three, four, okay. five, six, seven, eight. Try and go down. For how long? You're, uh, I'm ready to smack some sexy back into Elena. She's a 10 in hotness and yet a negative five in confidence. As long as this looks good and not constipated or scared, then you're gonna be great. Thank you so much for your help. You're awesome. You just need to believe in yourself because you're beautiful. You really are. Tonight, I'm performing my burlesque routine, so I'm already nervous. And since Tanya, Tara, and my husband Preston are going to be there, I am completely terrified. Hey, ladies. Hi. Great. Hey, Preston, how are you? Great. Good to see you. I'm so incredibly excited about seeing Elena's performance. I'm a little bit nervous for her because I know that dancing is not her thing. So, your congratulations are in order. <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Hey, that's awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Elena needs to find some confidence on stage, because without it, that pretty little bombshell is about to bomb on stage. She is working it. I can't believe.
believe I did it. All this time I tried to imagine that it was only me and my husband in the room and it worked. That was awesome. Oh, I agree. <laughs> It was great. It was. You liked it? One hot dancer sits on Preston's knee, and the other one is humping my face. Good times. <laughs> what the hell is this girl doing? I'm not insecure about every size woman dancing on my husband's lap. What I have a problem with is any woman dancing on my husband's lap. How would you feel uh, if she did more burlesque? In private? Oh, oh that'd be great. Private. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Love that. I had somebody's <laughs> in my face. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was uh, got pretty risque. Yeah, I was getting more nervous when uh, when she was sitting on my lap. Yeah, I know. Like, but oh, she wasn't even no, sitting no. on your lap. She I was know. like at the edge of that. your knee. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey. What's wrong? You did so good. What's wrong? Nothing. You did good, what's the matter? I'm done with performance. I'm done with nightclubs. I'm not sure what Elena's deal is. She looks super depressed, like she just came from a funeral and we're supposed to be excited because she just rocked the stage. The only thing that I can think of is that it's possibly because she saw another woman sitting on Preston's lap. Your man was such a gentleman. Yes, By the he way, was. he leaned back and only gave a knee because she was putting a shoe on. That's it. I promise you, he didn't touch her. It was so PG, and I know what's going on in your head. Okay, I gotta go. Bye. Hi, hey, ladies. I'm sorry. Oh. Bye-bye, oh. you guys drive safe. All right. I'm really glad that Tony and Tara liked my performance. I just wish that girl wouldn't dance on my husband's lap. Oh, wow. Uh, I just feel for her, because it was such a good night. It was, and it, oh, There was gosh. nothing that should destroy it. Like, you're married. He's not gonna go anywhere. She's young. She gotta grow up. She gotta mature. You know, that's... She has to just understand that her man is in love with her and only her. Babe. Babe, what's wrong? Why are you crying? What's wrong? Because I'm, like, doing the performance and I'm all nervous and stuff, and you're... Baby. You just had the lap dance by some kind of random girl. Oh, my goodness. And I... did not have a lap dance. It's like a random girl in the club sitting on on my bed, not when I'm performing. I really don't get it. Maybe it was part of the performance. It wasn't like I like asked her to come and sit on my knee. I would never do anything to upset you like this. I'm sorry that it did. Okay, okay let's go home. Why that girl couldn't just leave my husband alone? I know that Preston says it was nothing, but I just don't like any other girls being so close to my man. It was a very stressful night for me, and it turned out to be a bad night. skating in so long. I brought my skates into my very large bag. Tonight, I'm taking all the girls roller skating. This is the first time that all of us has gotten together since Tara dropped the bomb about being pregnant. I figured we all have a lot to talk about, or we could just shut up and skate. Breakdown. Nothing is gonna come between the two of you. Do the two of you have trust issues? Anything, like jealousy? Somebody's asking me if I have a jealousy issues. 
She's the one who got so upset that her boyfriend, Joe, was flirting with me. We are the lookers of the bunch. Come on. Beautiful <laughs> face, normal sized head. The hands are kind of suspect. OK, back up. Let's go. Let's we are rare. We're a rarity. Joe, stop flirting. Let's go. This girl got a lot of nerve. I really didn't think Preston did anything wrong. I can see your piss. Why the f are you supposed to be on my side, girl? I am always on your side, but that's why I tried to explain it to you in front of, like, and you wouldn't even listen to me. You're like, okay, okay, I'm going home, I'm going home. I was upset. Kara doesn't really know yet what it is to be married. When you are married, it changes everything and you don't have a chance for a mistake. I don't want to see any other women around my husband. Are you married? Are you married? Have you lived with your man for five years? Like, I've been with my man for three and a half years. OK, it's not that big it's the same thing. Just because Joe and I aren't married doesn't mean that we don't love each other. It's just I wouldn't get upset about such a petty little dance move at a burlesque show because we trust each other. I mean, we're having a child together. It may, we may not have a sheet of paper, but I don't need a sheet of paper to justify that I love him as much I as you understand. love her. I understand. I understand. I'm just saying we are two different women, and things that don't piss you off piss me off. They are but too different. You didn't believe your own husband. I believed him after when I talked to him all alone without no girlfriend. I love Tara, but sometimes I just wish she would mind her own business. What's happening between me and Preston is just my and my husband's business. And I don't really care what Tara thinks. You are a great performer. You enjoy doing it. I don't. And this night that I spent there, I realized this is not who I am. I was thinking to quit my performing career for a while. And after this burlesque performance, I am kind of done with it. I don't like how it affects me, how it affects my marriage. I'm done with it. All right, now, now roll me to the roller skating no, place. Make me fall. I love skating. It's my jam. Roller skating is the perfect thing for me to take my mind off of my OBGYN appointment tomorrow. <laughs> Ready to roll. Oh, Tracy, get out. Get a massage for all of us. Okay, okay. thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting. I want to talk to you. Can we talk for a sec? Christy really confuses me, and lately she's been making me really mad. I don't know why she wants to talk to me. Who knows what she wants to talk about? You're I, pregnant. I, I would have never thought. I know. I'm just. Oh my god. I'm really happy for Tara. I am so excited for her. I am. In my heart, I was like, oh god. Tracy, that's all I was thinking about. Like, that was okay. The only person I was thinking about is you, and I text you, I love you, and you never text me back. I thought you texted me because you were thinking about me, and you. I felt bad at that moment. I didn't. I, I saw you crying, I know, and I felt I bad. I knew you, and I figured that, and I didn't know how to respond because it was hard on me. Then just days passed, and you. I'm sorry I didn't respond to you. When Tara told us she was pregnant, I didn't want to text Christy. We're not as close as we used to be, and opening up to her about it would have just made me feel worse. I, I thought you were going to turn around and say you were pregnant too. No, I thought you were pregnant. I was like, you're pregnant, and I was so excited. I put two and two together, and I realized Elena was in the kitchen at that time. With Tara, I asked Elena, do you know about the Tara with being pregnant? She's like, yeah. You mean she didn't learn that night no. like everybody else? Tara and her have been getting, like, getting close. I was more upset because you were upset. And I was like, why didn't Tara tell Tracy before anybody else? But why wouldn't she tell Tanya either? Did Tanya know? But aren't you her best friend? I mean, she was your maid of honor. Yeah, she was my maid of honor. I would think you would know first, but whatever. She told Elena first? Well, if it makes you feel any better, I mean, she told Elena before Joe. What? 
Why wouldn't she tell Joe first? No idea. Hello. Type in your first name, your last name, and the doctor you're gonna see, please. I'm glad she's here. I don't know if I could reach that. I am excited and nervous. I'm going to the OBGYN today. Hopefully everything's healthy and on the right track. Do you have any other questions? Sarah? Hi. 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 Hello, how are you? I'm happy that Joe's here with me. I think we're both nervous and excited at the same time. It's the first time that we're seeing what's inside door number one. Is that normal? Oh my gosh! It's got a really big head. They all look like that right now. <laughs> big head and big belly. Okay, good. You can see the little nasal bone. Wow. So there's the forehead. Nasal. Caveman. Oh my god. There's no doubt anymore. I'm coming up with roughly 12 weeks and four days. 12 but... weeks and four days. That means a lot further right. along than I thought. So the feet are over here. Feet are up. Oh, up. Head is down. Oh my god. Wait, is is it sucking its thumb? The the hands are like right up in front of the face. It looks the like boxing profile. gloves. Wow. I feel so lucky to be here and I'm excited that Joe is here to experience this like with me. Hi. Hello, hi, welcome. I'm Tara. Hello. Hi Tara. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I am Joe. Joe, good to meet you guys. It's scary for a new expecting mother to meet a new OBGYN, but especially with Joe and I both being little people, it is extremely nerve wracking because we have extra concerns. You had worked or delivered um, a little person by chance, or did you yeah, deliver? Years a, ago. Was it of uh, mm -hmm. achondroplasia? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, she had a normal pregnancy. Her Husband was an average oh, person, okay. and they had a seven-pound baby and C-section, and oh wow, everything was good she to go. She was humongous at the end. <laughs> awesome, good to hear. I am under the impression that you have a diagnosis of achondroplasia. That is correct. And Joe, pseudo achondroplasia. Yes, which is also a genetic mutation, but it's yes. a different mutation. Yes. I think we're fortunate because we were told, even though he has a dominant gene and I have a dominant gene, we can't have a double dominant child. When two little people of the same dwarfism have a baby, the child will have a 25% chance of being double dominant. The lungs don't develop, it's too small to live. Joe and I both have a dominant gene, but we are two different types of little people. So I thought we were totally out of the woods. It's very basic inheritance. One chromosome carries the mutation, one doesn't. Oh, okay. So you have four possible outcomes. So this is what I'd be worried about. Even, even though we have two totally different dwarfisms, it would be considered double dominant. Right, because it's an independent inheritance. The best I could tell you from everything I've read is I don't think they survive. But again, how long do they survive? A year, two years, or hours, or I, I don't know. Now I'm discovering that there is a 25% chance that we will have a double dominant child. Okay, where do I go from here? What's the next step? I'm sorry. Hey. You know, this is Thank you. tough stuff to talk about. Like if we found something like that. wrong that was really serious, right. that you might consider termination or no. that would not no. be an option. In order for you to get this information, I, I'm sure you're gonna have to have some kind of procedure. The typical amniocentesis is done in about 17 weeks of pregnancy. Yes. I'm not sure if I, even want to do genetic testing. If I find out that the baby is double dominant, then what do I do? Abortion is not something that I want to even think about. When you're put into these situations, it's not about anybody else but you and your child, and it's about doing the right thing. I'm fearing, like I've never, like all the research that I've done, and this is the first time I've heard somebody say that it will be double dominant. That means there's a 25% chance that we're not going to have a child that will live. I know. 
me get the car? Yeah, that sounds awesome. Love you. Love you too. If the results of the test come out that the child is double dominant and I decide to go forward with the abortion, people would say, I'm going to hell. If I decide to go through the pregnancy with the double dominant child and the child lives a couple hours, a couple days, I feel like I would torture this child. Like, if it can't breathe, if it can't live life. So I feel like I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. Next time on Little Women LA. Why did we have to find out when, when Brianna and Christy found out? I mean, I have been talking to somebody. Where did you meet this person? Online. Uh. I'm kind of falling in love with him. Your sword. Wow. So I really think that you are just very fake person, and I don't understand how you don't see that this is like totally your fault. What's the matter? I didn't want to disappoint you.